Hello, and welcome to Scott United. I am, of course, Scott, and uh, I'm here to bring you the latest in TV, movies, and pop culture. Um, have a headache, not feeling great, so we're just going to kind of bring it to you smooth and quiet uh, this week, although we do have some things to cover. And, uh, for, well, let's let's go, let's let's begin. Oh, of course, I am, I am joined, as always, with Margo. Here she is. Hi, Margo. Yep, just hanging out. But uh, let's go to uh, Scott and see what we're going to talk about. Hey, Scott. So mostly I just wanted to show you, you know, what my hair does in the morning sometimes. Not usually, but this is pretty impressive, I think. I mean, look at it. It's very impressive. There's a comedian. Now, I know there's a lot of comedians, and, like, Netflix puts out a ton of specials, and there's still Comedy Central specials, I guess, and, and also HBO specials. Case in point... My Favorite Shapes with Julio Torres. Now, I was not familiar with this guy. You know, he, he worked for SNL for a bit. Um, if you remember the commercial about, like, the wishing well toy for boys, like, that's his, that was one of his, apparently, which explains a lot. So, I wouldn't call My Favorite Shapes prop comedy, but it kind of is. But it's not like Carrot Top. It's gayer and also kind of more like subdued. Like it's very, it's very almost blasé, but not uninspired. Like he's not, he's still invested, but he's not like bombastic and excited. He's quiet. Subdued is the right word, but it works. I've, I've seen his, uh, he's done stuff on the Tonight Show and other things and it, it works, I think. His vibe is very kind of a little otherworldly, a little bit snarky, just a touch, but just like and specific, and I love that. Um, like he'll he'll have he'll have built little models and things to tell a joke, um, and he'll ascribe all these you know uh, emotions and feelings and opinions to an, an inanimate object, like the little wispy curtain that separates first class from the rest of the cabin in, in, in a jet um, on a flight. And then he'll also, but then he'll also take out some little figurine thing and, and tell a whole story about it. And um, it's just kind of weird and different. And he even acknowledges that, but yet it's great. And I really enjoyed it and enjoyed a lot of big laughs. Julio Torres, a lot of fun, although Seeing the close-ups of his hands and arms and seeing the fine grain glitter all over him made me like uncomfortable, <laughs> I'll admit, because uh, glitter just, you know, you're always washing it off for all the time. From my stripper days, I remember these things. In any case, one other show you might check out is um, Interior Design Masters. It's on Netflix. So if you have an urge for just some, some real design loveliness, some great ideas... If you're looking to, I mean, I want to redesign a room now watching the show. It's British, lots of great accents, lots of, um, uh, you know, cute locations. Uh, as usual with any design show, there's like the highfalutin types that's like, this is my aesthetic and I have to stand by it. And you're like, uh, you shouldn't, but, you know. But, um, you know, if you like design, you like some creativity, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, quick and, and uh, a good time. Otherwise, we're going to call it quits for this week. We will be back next week with our Halloween show, and we do have something special we are already working on, so that's also why we're going to cut this one short so we can just get back to work on what we've already started. So we hope to see you then. Say bye, Margo.